Hi, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Behind the Lens in Cinema. Uh, my name is Donald Ledesma, and welcome to today's show. So today, uh, I'm going to have a special guest. Her name's Heidi um, Hovda, and uh, we are going to talk about some things that are happening here in Corpus Christi, Texas. And, uh, you know, she's going to be uh, sponsoring an event that she's uh, she's actually doing herself. And, uh, you know, we want the people around the, the you know, the surrounding areas here in Texas or even in Corpus Christi or or anywhere in the area to, uh, you know, support, support local, because that's what it's about. It's about supporting everything local, right? And uh, I, I always support people and I love to do that because I love to help folks, especially for something like this. Okay, but before we get going, uh, you can find our, our podcast. It's going to be on uh, the Spreaker, of course. You'll find us on Apple Podcasts. You'll find us on Spotify. You'll find us all over the place. So this one's going to start growing little by little as it goes. Okay, I had one out, but uh, this is going to be another one, and this is our first actually video live podcast. So I want you guys to just understand that we're here to talk about a lot of things that have to do with filming and, and the film industry, and plus what people do to help people in the, in the film industry. So if you guys haven't seen, uh, I'm going to talk about my film right now. So uh, I have our film, The Middle. So if you haven't seen it, please check it out. It's on Amazon Prime. You can find it there, or you can find it on these four platforms right now. Uh, Tubi TV has it for free, so just remember. Remember, uh, Tubi's going to have all the commercials. So if you want your premium channels, that's going to be your Apple and, and you know, the Rewarded and Hoopla. Uh, those are going to be your premium channels. You can actually watch it there on those uh, platforms. But, you know, I, I wanted to get that out because, you know, it took a lot of work to do things, uh, to do this, that documentary. It was, it was just a lot of work, you know. Uh, and, you know, I... I I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't like films and I love films and I love to watch films. So as much as you guys do out there as well. And I, I am a sort of a, of a drama buff. So I like to watch a lot of drama films and I caught this film about maybe a month ago and I really, really enjoyed it. You know, uh, it's, it's been here. It's called Banshees of the Insurance. So this is by uh, the, the director, Martin Muck. Donna. Okay. So, so they say McDonald. It almost sounds like McDonald. But anyway, I saw this film. It's drama, and it's a great, great film, great cast. You know, these guys, you know, they, they did an amazing job on the storyline and, and on this uh, movie. If you haven't seen it, I caught it on HBO Max. You know, catch it there, and you'll be able to, you know, check it out, you know, see what you think. Uh, I really enjoyed the acting and, and the whole story, what it was about. It has a little dark uh, feel to it as well, but I hope you see this one. You know, it's... Uh, it's got Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson in this film. So check it out. If you ever have a chance, this is a great, great film. Um, you know, I sat there and I watched the whole thing. I didn't want to take my eyes off it. That's how good it was. And they, I think they filmed it up there in Ireland. So it has that really nice, strong Irish accent to the whole film. It takes a little bit to understand, but you start grabbing it just like everything else. But, you know, that's a great film to watch. But today we're going to be talking to Heidi. And, uh, you know... I want to introduce you to her because she's a she's an amazing person. Been uh, going out there and 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 uh, getting her 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 films, our people helping people with films out there and helping them get out there. So let's go ahead and bring her on in right now. There Hi. 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 How are you? Great. How are you? Thanks for having me on. Good. Thank you for being here on today's show. Uh, you know, I. I actually caught uh, your your um, one of your events a few months ago right it was what, about three months ago or four months ago uh yeah the first film up we did was in december right i caught that one uh, uh a good friend of mine his name is mike rodriguez he has uh he's a local filmmaker and uh you know he said you know you need to go check this out don you know and i was like okay well, let's go see it so me and my wife went out there and and you know we sat right almost in the front you know got to watch it and you know we got to enjoy a lot of those films of these uh young directors and people that are just starting off in the film industry and some that's been doing it for a long time but you know that was a great enjoyment for me uh, and my wife just sat there you know because you can relax you, you can have a few drinks too as well so kind of tell us about yourself and how you got this going sure uh well i've always been um a film advocate a creative community advocate for uh our city uh there are so many incredible creative people in our community and i've been lucky enough to kind of just be a part and connected to them um years and years ago um a friend of mine uh 
produced some films and uh, they were shown at a film festival that's no longer in existence. It's called Edgeworks. It was called right. Edgeworks Film Festival. Right. And um, around 2007, um, a friend of mine and I, uh, we were talking one day and we said, you know, there really needs to be like a consistent film event happening in our community. So in 2007, right. I worked with him and we started the Corpus Christi seven day film project. And that's nice. a film race competition. And we've been doing that since 2007. The only year we didn't do it was 2020 because you know, the entire right. world right. shut down. Shut and down, exactly. Yes, yes. So, um, so I've been really lucky to get to know a lot of uh, the local filmmakers in our community. And I love doing seven day. I think it's been a really great a way for once a year the people in our film community to gather together and shoot a film in seven days and uh and see their work all in the, all in that one thing but what was missing to me was the people not local people not having a chance to show their projects that they're working on outside of seven day on any kind of a regular basis get your right. film in front of a, an audience to like test it out to see did I edit it this right? How does the sound sound in a theater environment? Right. So it so kind of like in the same way that an open mic does for uh, comedians or for local musicians, the local film community, I felt needed something like that. So I tossed the idea around with some really good friends of mine. Uh, they're with Vendetta Productions. And right. uh, we came up with Film Up. And it is just like an open mic night for a comedian or a musician. It is the right. same for filmmakers. It is an open scream night. And what I ask is people submit films uh, a couple days in advance. And I rent out the Alamo Draft House and I show them. And then I also do them on the third Thursdays at the Art Museum. And on that one, I can show a feature film and a short. So, nice. uh, so that's it. I mean, that's pretty much that simple is is film up is just an open screen night for local filmmakers to show their work and get feedback on their work and it's also a way for the creative community the filmmaking community to gather right. together and just just get to know each other you know have a reason right. for us to be together in community you don't right. things don't get strong unless the people who are passionate about it uh, gather together on a frequent basis. And there are a lot of great other film festivals that happen in town. There's the, or around the area, there's the Rockport Film Festival, there's the South Texas Underground Film Festival. But again, all those things happen once a year. So right. Film Up, I'm hoping it gives people at least, you know, every other month or every now and then an opportunity to just meet up and help really build and strengthen our uh, local film community. Right. Well, and I, and I really enjoyed it, you know, when, when we went up there and I mean, just got to meet people as well. You know, it's like a who's who and you get to, you know, actually talk to the the, the the filmmakers and directors or whoever's out there. You know, they hand out their flyers to you of their film and their movie posters, you know, and and uh, that's what what I really loved about it. It's uh, you're up close and personal, like you said, you know, and in and, and that sense. And then you get to uh, meet actresses and actors as well, too. Correct. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think that's that is another thing about doing events like this. Uh, if you are a creative person and you just kind of like you feel like you're in a silo and you don't even begin to know how to get connected with actors, editors, camera people, grip, you know, whatever, what have you, people who would like to learn how to be a part of a film. You, if we don't do events like this, nobody knows how to get connected and learn from each other and to be a part of each other's project. Uh, I think we're losing you. I oh. have a low, a little bad connection there on your internet. Let's see. Mm, okay. Hold up. Let's see what's going on here. Something. How's that? Am I back? You're back. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what happened. Yeah, it's 
you know how it is. Technology is awesome, but then it just it glitches every once in a while, and I don't know why yeah. it does that. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah, and and that's like like you were talking about. You know, great way for people to uh, to just meet and greet, and then uh, you know, kind of critique each other's films in a sense, and they get to ask questions. Correct afterwards. Sure. Yeah, we always do a Q and A um, after we show each film, a little brief Q and A, and then we take a break where people can talk to each other and. Um, if and if people want to meet in the lobby and talk more afterwards, I, we can do that. You know, um, so and, and as it builds and grows, um, you know, I might be able to like find a place where we can have like an after party to go further. Um, right. The thing that the I, it's it's because I'm renting the facility myself. It's a little expensive to do it on a Saturday or a Friday right. night. So right. you know, most people go to work the next day. So I do them on a Wednesday. That's where I can get a good rate at Alamo Draft House, and yeah, uh, yeah. And so you know, get, we don't want the old folks to stay out too late. I'm one of the old <laughs> folks. Okay. Yeah, Gotta yeah. My, I know myself as well, included in that. You know, and then you you start. You know, if you like to drink a little alcohol, of course, you're staying it all as soon as you walk in the door. You're like, okay, I'll I'll have a beer or two or whatever. And they have all of kinds, course. you know. Which is this is a great place to actually put your event. You know, that was a an excellent place actually to do it. Um, you know, like when I went, there was a lot of new filmmakers. I, what? To me, it's new. It might be not new to you, but for me, it's a little new because, you know, I've, I've, uh, when I see young talent out there, you know, a lot younger out there, uh, they're just getting younger and younger as it is. And, and, uh, when, when I saw this one film, it was a, a young girl and she, I guess they were still in high school, correct, on that one. Um, yeah. you know, and, and they made this little, the amazing little short that they do. So about how long are these, uh, shorts or what's your longest, uh, short that you have? Uh, the one, there's one of them that's playing next week. That's 22 minutes. I really okay. kind of want to keep the shorts at about 30 minutes maximum length. So that way I can get as many shorts in as possible. But, um, you know, it really does also depend on how many people want to show something. So I just kind of have to like keep an eye on the timing. And when someone reaches out and says, Hey, I'd really like to show my, my short film at the Alamo draft house. I just kind of keep an eye on how much time that I had. But yeah, the first one that you went to in December, it did. It did have a high school student submitted film. And right, then right. Uh, there's another one that is a high school submitted film that will be happening in um, at, at March's uh, film up as well. That's next Wednesday, correct? That's next Wednesday, the 15th at the Alamo Draft House. Right, yeah. right. You know, and I was uh, I was just amazed by how these, these kids were just kind of get, putting their direction out there. And, you know, a lot of them, you know, they just have a lot of talent. You know, there's people out there that, uh, as far as myself, you know, I, I just... I, I was always interested in film since I was a kid, you know, of course. And then now I catch myself since I started doing these, these, this small documentary and, and just got into filming a lot that I'm starting to look at a lot of scenes, angles, things like that, you know, when, when it's shot on just a, a movie, you know, and these kids did a, an amazing job when we were out there, you know, uh, I can't, you know, uh, just, I give them, I applaud them a lot, you know, because, uh, of course, there's a lot of there was a lot of dark films in there too. So I know you warned people uh, when when before something was going to get kind of graphic, right? Correct. Yeah, I did try to like uh, put the more uh, violent films towards the end so that people had an opportunity to leave. Um, right. You know, I my my general rule on this is that I I don't want to be the you know the arbitrator of content you give me a film I'm gonna show it and right. you know I someday somebody may put something in there that could be offensive to me personally I right. still believe that we should show it um right. that's what that's what the Q&A is for that is what the dialogue for that is that's what community is for you know so right. I mean like if like it will be a hard test but like if somebody submitted a kkk film you know glorifying the kkk or something right. like that right. it would be very it will be very hard for me personally to show a film right. that i would just disagree with 100 percent. Right. but well, you have you have your boundaries right there's there's well, a boundary I, I do i still feel that i we should show it and i still right. feel that we should have the conversation about showing it no need right. to get in fights no need to get in anything somebody created something my my job is to give space for it 
and then also to hold them account for what's inside that film as well. well and, they, but, in they, a, but in a public forum, not you know, not not by censoring it, not by. Um, I, but then again, I don't know. I mean, we'll see what happens. I hope nobody challenges me on that because you never know. <laughs> you know, I know, we, I know. We live in a. But getting back to the kids and and young people. You know, the technology is just so cheap and accessible now. When right. we were when we were coming up, we didn't have access to uh, 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 the ability to make a movie on your phone, right? So right. all of this stuff is so um, so easy for them now that I love to see that there are so many young people who are uh, taking the time to like express themselves creatively through film and to write a story and to hire actors and to care about lighting and to put all of that together. The growth of that is incredible. And it's just, I, I love to show it. I'm proud to show it. I'm, I'm honored that these kids want to show their film. Well, yeah, the production part of it, just, just putting the production, the idea together and getting people, like you said, get people together. It's just getting the ideas on paper first. Right. And then of course they have to get, make sure they have enough cameras now. And, and now you can work wonders with cell phones right yeah uh, like you said we didn't have this this technology when we were growing up uh we no. were still kind of with the old big old vhs <laughs> v vcr kind yeah. of things on your shoulder you know but now it's like the the cameras are getting smaller and smaller and the sensors are getting so awesome to where it's almost film like you know on on almost yeah. everything that you're seeing out there uh you know and uh, it, it's on the content because like, we were talking about there earlier you know and and uh you know that they they have a lot of great ideas and they uh the the younger the younger folks you know they tend to get do a lot of people let me ask you this since you've been doing this for a while do a lot of people come to you do you get more horror films uh, or you kind of it kind of mixes in the genre the genres kind of mix in on that i mean i feel like the genre is pretty pretty mixed um when it comes to like the films that get submitted for cc seven day um if like we so the thing with seven day is we give them a prop and an and a line of dialogue and a uh character that they have to include in their film and right. if we're not careful about what we select for those things it can tend to like bring out a lot of genre films like a horror or a gangster film or something right. like that so we have to be really careful about what we do uh but i there there were two horror films in the first film up that you saw um right. i uh i there's at the next one there will be a a teaser trailer for a horror anthology series that's being produced by local filmmakers nice um and i don't believe i don't believe that there's another horror film in this in this one um there's a couple of dramas um and uh so yeah so there's a wide mix there's a wide variety nice well you know i, I always wondered about that because uh, I, i've kind of looked at a lot of film festivals online and stuff and and uh you know you have to go to where you're actually what you're shooting for in other words like drama uh, documentary uh you know sci-fi and you know of course uh you're breaking these kind of down into all different kinds correct i mean but not so much one than another right is that what you're pretty much saying i mean i in the flow of film up if i want to be considerate if i'm going to show films young filmmaker films i need to be considerate of how i arrange the lineup so that as the evening progresses the elevated content films are at the end so people have an opportunity to leave nice. before yeah. before those come up right okay got it um, got it so All it's right. just it's just kind of being considerate and giving people an option some of that is a judgment call on my part um so you know it's just like you know if there are if there are 10 f bombs that might be a, a little much for some people so right, you know right. we won't uh, so that might go more toward the end i'm not a the yeah. f bombs don't offend me but yeah. i'm trying to, i i try to think about what it would be like for other people in the audience who don't have my loosey goosey standards 
Uh, let me ask you this: do, How many uh, films do you get on, on? Let's just say in in this three months time or whatever it takes for you to. How many do you look through before you you pick one out of another? Well, I mean, I I I can fit about eight films in. Okay. So um, so it's really just the first eight that submit. Nice. Okay. Well, that that I, works. It, it, that works yeah. too. Yeah, I do it on a first come first serve basis because I I mean because this is about community, I don't want to make a discernment on what qualifies as a good film. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like you made yeah. a film, I will show it. That is nice. that's kind of that's kind of my attitude about it. Um so who knows? I mean, you know, maybe someone will put a stinker up there someday and we as a community will have to figure out how to be as supportive of a film that's really not that great. And because there's always something good to say about somebody, even if it's just the fact that they completed it. You know, I've right. never made a film on my own. I've never had the guts to do that. So at the very least, even if, there is always some constructive criticism that we can give each other to support each other in the community. Right. But there's also kindness and support for right. just getting up and having the bravery to do it. Exactly. You know, and, and I and I caught I caught all different facts from different different you know people from everywhere so you're gonna get bad you're gonna get good but you know what the critique i, I don't care about the critique uh, you know whatever they say about it and and then for me as a filmmaker i was able to say okay you know what next film i'm gonna correct that or next film i'm gonna correct this part you know yeah i should have i overlooked that part you know what i mean especially when you know when you're a budget filmmaker you know like like a lot of folks are you know just starting off you know you don't have this 50 million dollar you know budget to where you can hire you know all these people to think for you so you have to do all the thinking for yourself so uh when it comes to to your final uh edit you know and then kind of going over it and over it sometimes there's little things that you miss right and, and and it happened to me it happened to me you know i'm i'm gonna be honest about it it did happen to me but you know uh and that's a learning process but what i did what I do like about what you're doing is that you get to showcase their films on this huge, huge screen inside of a, in, in a theater, you know, who doesn't want to see their film on something like that, you know, and, uh, and, and that's what I enjoyed the most, you know, because uh, people were excited about seeing their film on a big screen, you know, uh, that, that was awesome. I really love that. Yeah. I mean, it's such an important, it's such an important part of the final process of creating a film is I mean, of course, like, you know your film so well because you've been looking at it through the editing process, you know, everything. It's been, in, it's lived on your desktop computer or your laptop for all of these months. But right. that final process of uh, seeing it on the big screen, but then also being in a room with a bunch of other people who don't know you and right. listening to their reaction, you know, was that the reaction I was thinking, what, what I was hoping for? What, when I created this thing, how did I expect people to respond? Or, right. oh my God, that was an unexpected response. I didn't think that they would find that funny. I thought that was supposed to be sad. Do I need to go back and re-edit that? You're like all of those things are, are, are important and they can't happen until you put it on a screen in a room of other people. And then that, those people have to, like I said before, give constructive, and supportive feedback to help fine tune the film. If that's what the filmmaker wants, maybe the filmmaker just, hey, I made this film five years ago and I never got to do a big screening of it with the cast right. and the crew. And so here's my opportunity to do it five years later. I'll right. show that film too, you know? Right. Hey, you know, and that's great. You know, I, I, there's some folks out there that, you know, like you said, they hold on to these films for a little while because they're kind of afraid of the a little bit of a backlash or whatever, but it's okay. I mean, I, that's what I say. It's, it's, it's okay because it's just a learning process. You just, you, you, if you want to be a, a, a a great filmmaker because everybody wants to be a great filmmaker you know you have to start somewhere and then you just kind of keep working your way up and keep working your way up and sure. and your films will get better even you'll start meeting people like in in um in places like what you're talking about you know uh you know fx people editors you'll make you'll meet producers you'll meet you know different directors you can uh, collaborate with each other uh, on one of your films you know and and 
I don't mind helping people uh, when it comes to stuff like that, or, or I would like some help too as well, you know. And that's what I enjoyed about your your event that you're having. So, and that's the reason I, I wanted to bring you on today as well, you know, because I want you to introduce yourself, you know, and I want everybody to see, you know, uh, what this is about, and uh, you know, because I really enjoyed it, not just as a film buff, but just as a person that just loves to watch movies i'll sit and watch movies all day at home too just like yourself <laughs> yes yes i definitely uh do do like to binge me some some television series and you know <laughs> watch watch those same comfortable movies over and over and over right. again you know this one right. that you love so much yeah yeah i don't know we, we i must watch seinfeld like out about 10, 15 times already, and I still put it on. I just love that show, uh, you know, and, and it's just the way it is. Uh, but, you know, this is your your your, um, your your poster here. So we want everybody here in the Corpus Christi area, you know, it's called Film Up, the short film open screen night, okay? So it's Wednesday, March 15th at 6.30 p.m. Now, does the films start right at 6.30 or kind of waits a little bit? Yeah, no, this is a good question. So we, uh, I open the doors at 6.30. Um, because the seating is limited, um, it's an 80 seat theater last, okay. when we did it in December, uh, we had people kind of like standing in the room and not sitting and that breaks the fire code. So what I had to do this time is create a registration page. So if okay. you want to come to this film up, you have to register, uh, just search, mm -hmm. go to eventbrite.com. That's E V E N T E V E N T B R I T E eventbrite.com search film up and then you just register it's free there's no admission there's nothing uh it's free to sh show a film it's 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 free to come and watch a film um but you have to register so it, i'll open the doors at 6 30 and start seating people at 6 45 if the person who registered hasn't showed up i'm clearing the registration and people who are standing outside i'm gonna let them come in and so, right. so you lose your spot at 645 and I, right. just, I have to, I have to do it that way. So that way, as many people who want to see the film can, and I don't, I don't want there to be an empty seat if there's someone who wants to sit there. Right. So, so right. yeah. So, um, and then we start, the it, make, it makes sense. Yeah. And then we start, the uh, you know, uh, where can people find you? Uh, do you, is there an email that, uh, is that your email that the one you sent me where people can, can submit their films to you? Yeah. If they want to submit a film, they submit it at filmupcc at gmail.com. Email. Okay. Okay. Filmupcc at gmail.com. All right. So what I'll do is at the end of, of this podcast, it's going to be on audio as well. So I'll, I'll put all this information at the very end of the podcast. And then, uh, so if you, people want to go back and listen to it, they can listen to it on the auto audio part of it, or I'm going to put this up on the web pages and that way they can watch this, uh, this interview today I, I really loved it thank you uh for being on the show today Thanks i really appreciate it i appreciate yes. you asking me yes i i had to because you know i thought it was very important and then i know it's a, i know it's important to you too so and we we got to get this information out to the to the community out there so they can support each other thank you so thank you again heidi for being on the show today i really appreciate you and uh next one that you have on there just give us a holler or i'll watch your your flag and I'll, I'll throw it out there you know and then you know if we want to we'll get you back on the show and we'll talk about another one you know so that way we can anytime. get going anytime i love talking about the creative community thank you we'll see you next wednesday bye bye-bye have a good day you too thank you bye-bye All right, so that was Heidi right there. You know, uh, she gave us a lot of information on her event. It's called Film Up. You know, uh, if you guys, you know, like I said, you know, go register on her site. I'm going to put all the information in on this podcast, and so that way you guys can go and and on her website and and just just sign your name. Maybe even if it's a couple, or you guys are going to go out for the night, go check this out next Wednesday night, six thirty. But make sure you register in order to, to go in. Okay, that way she'll have your name and everything on there. But uh, I really want to. Thank everybody for for listening to the show and watching it today. You know, uh, I hope to see more people out there. You know, and and going out to these events, especially to support local. And that's that's what it's about. Let's support local. And that's what I really love to do. And uh, just I just want to say, hey man, keep your eyes on the screen. 
and just go ahead and keep on watching some more films. You let us know what you think. Uh, and if you like today's show, just give us a thumbs up. Check us out. Uh, we're going to have a new page on YouTube. Yay. It's going to be on there as well. So if you want to go back and play this, it'll be on YouTube as well. Just go behind the lens in cinema. You'll find it there. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome and great day.